Welcome to the Aswell Video Store. Today we are going to review Patriotism from 1966, directed by Yukio Mishima. He also written the short story which the film is based on for its 55th anniversary. The story is about Lieutenant Takayami, he, who is told to kill his comrades. He refuses, of course, and decides to go back home, where it, which leads him to one thing, suicide. To be honest, this is one of the greatest short films I ever seen so far. I feel like this film is great because of how simple it is to be honest. The story is sold through visuals and also scenes with written scrolls, basically giving context to the story itself. Which is an interesting idea to be honest, instead of using like, you know, regular title cards, they actually r r roll out a scroll where it basically describes some parts of the film. They even use it for the credits actually. Interesting. Even though there is no dialogue, the acting is so well done because it gives so much emotion to it. The cinematography and also the effects of it is pretty well done as well. The only thing I dislike about this film is I think it's chapter 3? Hey, where, I, where it's like titled The Final Love. Yeah, I didn't really like of how explicit it is. But I do like the set design of the entire house itself where basically it's very simple. So I'll give it 4.5 out of 5 stars. I only own the movie on DVD, as you see here. It's from the Criterion Collection and it's spine number 433. I even checked out most of the bonus features, but I do like how this DVD presents it. Look, there's, I think you can't see in the camera, but there's some writing in there. But also, look, look, here's the DVD itself. Looks pretty good. You have your chapter selection there. there but also, it comes with a pretty l decently large booklet here, where it talks about some of its production, and also shows some, uh, like, behind-the-scenes photos and all of that. Uh, and interesting here, it actually does have the short story here, Patriotism, which is... Right here, yeah, it does have the story right here, as you see. And so I do like the presentation of this DVD. I only seen the making of documentary where it features the cast and crew. This film does have an interesting story uh, within its production and also uh, whatever, what happened afterwards. So basically, Yukio Mishima filmed the entire movie within two days at a studio and he wanted to keep everything secretive. The reason why is because he feared that the president of the studio uh, wanted to change the film in his way so Mishima did it on his own in order to actually not get the interference with his work. After it was done, the film played in a few f film festivals and it was actually a pretty much a success. An interesting note is that all the scrolls is done by Yukio Mishima himself. Basically, he did them within a day because the next day they need them in order to put them in the prints and all that. So Yukio Mishima actually did all the texts and did all of them in languages, with which according to the crew member, according to one of the crew members, was pretty impressive of how he actually grabbed what, like like ink and drew and drew and wrote everything down on each scroll for each language release. After Yukio. Umashia's death in 1970, it was ordered that all prints of the film were, were to be destroyed. Thankfully, one of the crew members convinced Mishima's wife to actually keep the original camera negative, uh, which she did, it kept in a box at her house. 35 years later, her, it, the camera negative was was basically finally taken out from the box, which was never taken out before n until that time, and restored by the Criterion Collection for this release. I think the release is like 2008 or somewhere around that line. In any case, overall it's a great short film. I recommend to get the Criterion Collection release. To be honest, I wish they could have done a Blu-ray release. But overall, it's great that we already have the film, at least on DVD. The only problem I will actually have with the Criterion Collection release is that basically in the soundtrack for the Japanese version, I'm not sure if it's a problem in the US version, but basically there's some audio issues, not with like the DVD is like broken or anything, no there's audio issues within the film where you hear some pops and crackles throughout its soundtrack, but I don't think it won't affect the viewing experience of the film itself. So I hope one day Patriotism will one day come out on Blu-ray so we can have like a more of an HD version of the film. So that's all our review, have a nice day later on come back to our video store.